All right, so now let's go further into this question. The Gordon family's electric bill, remember, was uh, normally distributed with a mean of 95 and a standard deviation of 23. Well, normally distributed means that we had the bell curve. It's bell-shaped. The mean being 95 means the one in the middle, the tallest point on the bell, is uh, that x particular x value is 95. That's the mean. The mean is 95. And we know that also the standard deviation is 23. So sigma is 23, meaning if you go 23 to the left or right, so 23 here would take you to 118. 118 and 23 here would take you to 72. So that's adding 23 and subtracting 23. So if you add another 23 to the 118 to get to here, you get 141. That's two standard deviations. And then a third one would give you uh, 164. And if you continue with subtract 23, 23 taken away from 72 gives you 49 here. And 23 taken away from 49 gives you 26 here. So this would be the scaling for this particular normal distribution described here. This would be the scaling. Um, find the probability, we already answered this question, that x is less than 100. Now we're going to find the probability that the Gordon family has an electric bill that exceeds 135. So no longer we're doing less than, which is to the left. We're trying to exceed or look to the right for the area to the right of 135. Well, let's see. Here's 118. Here's 141. 135 is somewhere in the middle, closer still, though, to uh, 141, closer to 141 than it is to 118. So we're going to look at this value here, 135. We're going to look at this value of x. So we're going to look at that x value. Let's bring in our vertical line. So the vertical line is going to go right at 135. So this vertical line represents 135. And we're looking for the area to the left, or to the right, actually. Sorry. We're looking for where it exceeds 135. Exceeds means that we're going to the right for the values of x that are greater than 135. We're looking for that area to the right. OK, the problem with that is that the table that we have been using only gives us the area to the left. So we can still do it the way we did the last problem by looking at the z table, where for z, the mean is equal to 0 and the standard deviation is equal to 1. So this is the z score, while this is just the x random variable. So this random variable is x. This is the spacing, this is the distribution of x. Well, this one down here is z, and z is much more standardized because the mean is 0, and then you have the standard deviation being 1, means you go one unit in each direction. This would be one standard deviation, two and three standard deviations, negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. And what we found is we found the x value here, 135, we were looking for that area there. It corresponds to a certain z value. Uh, let's see. The z value, it would correspond to the value of z. Let's find it over here. We're going to take the x value, which is 135. We're taking x. We're subtracting mu, the mean, which is 95. And we're dividing that by sigma, the standard deviation, which is 23. And when we do this calculation, we get 1.74. So the z-score we're looking for here, this z-score, is 1.74. And if we find this area to the right of 1.74, if we find the area to the right of 1.74, it'll be the same as the area to the right of 135. So. What do we do? Well, this table over here, unfortunately, can only give me the area to the left. 
this white area. So what I need to do is I need to find out what the area to the left of 1.74 is. And because the two sides are complements of each other's probability wise, if I take whatever value I get on the left over here and subtract it from one, I will get the area on the right. So let's go ahead and find it now. Let's see, we have 1.7 here. Here's 1.7 I found. And from 1.7, from this row with 1.7, we're going to go across to the column that has 0 0.04. So 0 0.01234 would be this column right here. So this is the value I'm looking for. Uh, I just covered it up. But that is indeed the value that I'm that I need the value right here it's in the row that has 1.74 the ones and tenths digit and it's in the column that has uh, 0.04 so it's in the row that has 1.7 ones and tenths and the column that has the hundredth 0.04 right here so this area to the left over here is 0.9 five nine one but that's not what I need the table only gives me the area to the left but I need the area to the right I need this area right here that area then is going to be one minus point nine five nine one so that area is point zero four zero nine which means for my particular problem right here this area to the right here is the same this area is 0 0.0409 so that the answer to the question here find the probability that the Gordon family has an electric bill that exceeds 135 well if this is the distribution the area to the right of 135 is 0 0.0409 so the probability that the Gordon family electric bill is greater than $135 is equal to 0 0.04 zero nine or approximately uh, four point one percent point zero four zero nine so that is part B that is how you'd find the probability that um, a certain value is greater than or the probability that a certain value is going to exceed a given value of X